Yo, what's up, man? Getting a lot of PMs. Uh, got a lot of guys are buying 1911s, and they're asking me questions. And uh, they've heard me quote in uh, videos before that I shoot better with a 1911 than any gun that I ever owned. And they're asking me why. Well, it's a real easy answer. It's the trigger. It's the ergonomics and the slimness of the gun. Okay. Uh, if you don't own a 1911 then you will not know what the hell I'm talking about. If you own a SIG or a Glock or an XD or whatever you'll know what I'm talking about in certain areas. Is the 1911 really more accurate than any other gun? No. If you, I mean if you put the guns in a vise if you put a, if you put each of these guns in a vise like a gun vise and shot them pulled the trigger without the without the human being holding it they would pretty much be within hair hair line uh, splitting hair differences of each other like you wouldn't even barely probably be, barely be able to tell by just looking at it from a distance if one gun is more accurate than the other so is the 1911 by itself more accurate than any other gun I would say no but when it's in the human hand, that's when I say yes, and this is why. When you hold any anyone any range officer will tell you if he knows anything about shooting, or anyone in the shooting sports will tell you, when you hold a firearm in your arm, supposedly it's supposed to line up with your forearm. Like if I hold this sig, the sig's pretty wide, and by the way, the sig the grips for the SIG were slimmed down if anyone wants to know so because uh, these wood grips were too fat they were slimmed down can't believe it that's good uh, when you hold a SIG a SIG's a chunky gun I don't know if you can see this when you look at the center of the slide where the sight is it come down you should draw a line down the gun and it goes off my forearm Okay, even if I go like that, if I draw a line down the gun, it still goes off my forearm. But for me to shoot this gun correctly, this is how I have to hold it because it's fat. Now, for me to put it in the correct position, which would be there, now it's going down the center of my hand and the center of my whole arm. It's like the gun is part of my arm. It's wall a straight line all the way down. Now that's the correct. That's the most accurate result you'll get. But I can't, I can't fire this gun like that. I have to reposition it this way. Now it's off to the side. So now it's it's shaped like this. So it's 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 more of a um, less sturdy instrument. You know, it swivels more. It's hard to explain. It is no more an extension of my arm. Now I have to control it more. Okay. Uh, just to show you how slim down the grips are, look, I can wrap my whole hand around it, and my thumb comes around, overlaps my finger. Before it was like this. There was a gap like that. It's even, I can wrap my hand m more around this SIG than I can a Glock. The Glocks are wide, man. I don't know why they make them like that. That's why the fourth generation has straps on it, because they know their fucking guns are too wide. If I put my hand around the Glock, look at that. That's a good quarter of an inch between my my middle finger that's the finger you wipe your ass with my middle finger and my thumb uh, just quarter inch gap there so this is wider than the fucking sig it don't look like it but it is okay now this is another gun when I hold it it's not in line with my forearm it's that's it's it does this off here so if I turn it to where I need it to be it's very uncomfortable. My finger barely reaches the trigger where it should, and it and it's uh, now it's lined up with my forearm in a straight line. Now, if it's lined up with your forearm in a straight line, if you ever watch them guys Hickok and all them guys that are really good shooters, they they don't bend their elbows when they shoot. They go straight. They lock their arm, and this is like one long bar, and the gun is a part of your arm, and they rise it up and shoot. Now, if you have real big hands. You won't have that problem. You can probably put the gun anywhere you want. 
but I don't have big hands, I have medium hands. So, this is where the 1911 comes in. This is why I shoot it best, and a lot of people shoot it best. Because it's so slim, I can put it in the right, I can put it right where it needs to be, perfectly straight, right up my forearm, and my trigger finger can easily get in there, and it's already in a comfortable spot. Now I'm holding the 1911 in the correct position. And when I raise it, it's going to shoot straighter because it's in line with my forearm. I mean, that's the correct way. Not everyone can hold a gun the correct way. They have to hold it a little incorrect to shoot the gun. So you have to practice to get good at it. But the reason why most people hit their targets more with the 1911 is because it's so slim and the grip isn't real wide, you can get a good grip on it, and there's plenty of room to get your finger in the trigger guard, and it's straight in the middle of my forearm, okay? Just like that. Now I raise it, and you can pretty much hit your target with uh, more grace, you know, and you don't have to think as much. Uh, the SIG, and like in the Glock, and the XD, I don't know about the XD, it's got a pretty, uh, but the XD is chunky, so... I don't know, I should have brought it down to see how that handles. But as far as these three guns, the 1911 kills them as far as uh, lining up with your forearm and giving it that natural angle, that natural spot it needs to be when you're aiming at a target. So try it, try your guns out, you'll see what I mean. Try to put them in the correct position where they need to be and you'll see your trigger finger is going to be really uncomfortable, but not with this 1911. Okay, I can put even if I put it in the wrong position, it don't feel right. If I put it in the correct position, center, it feels good. Put my palm swell right in that spot. Lock my elbow, relax, and we're good. Uh, yeah, you, you can shoot the fucking uh, you know, a zit off a fucking fly's ass with that thing. And it's a 45, you know, it's like accurate, like a 9 millimeter. The 1911 is extremely an amazing gun. And it, it don't just look pretty. It's pretty in every way you can imagine, performance-wise. Um, I'm going to, uh, I might do something to this 1911. Uh, I, I love the way it looks. Uh, I might make these grips a little, I like these grips, so uh, I might make them a little darker. I have a, I have a stain, like you've seen how I did my uh, AK-47. I might want these a shade darker, because I think the darker the grips look, the better the whole gun looks. And then they're almost at the shade that I like, but they're just a little too light. So I have this stain. It might, they might look a little cherry when I'm done. And I might just, just lightly hit them with some triple O steel wool, and uh, hit it with some uh, dark, dark, dark cherry stain. Because I don't want to take the U.S. grips off. I want to keep them. So I'm just giving you a little update what I might do to that. might be my project today. And we might, uh, remember guys, the 16th, which is, uh, what the fuck is it? Next weekend, we're doing that grand opening at that, the bunker. It's a new gunsmithing, uh, outlet store. And, uh, it's called the bunker. And what you do is when you want your firearm, your 1911 or whatever, when you're, or your AR-15, you want it worked on or customized, you, they have a waiting room and you sit and you wait as they work on your gun. How cool is that? So we're going to cover the grand opening of that. You know, it's not going to be too long. But my camera only gets up to 30 minutes, so I, mean, I, I can only go so long with it. But I don't think you guys want it longer than that anyway. So we're going to go there. We're going to show all the products. The guy's got a gazillion different types of 1911 grips. Every every kind you can imagine. And it's, it's like a store where they sell exotic 1911 grips, tactical 1911 grips, uh, semi ivory simulated ivory 1911 grips that look like real ivory not like them ones I bought for my Colt I think they're cheap looking they look like plastic so I'm, I'm taking them off and put my other just rosewood grips back on there um yeah so that'll be exciting and this, here's their sticker here it's called uh, PSFS PSFSD incorporated but it's called the bunker and uh, that's going to be fun. That'll, that'll be interesting. So we'll do that. And I hope this video helped you about, you know, why the 1911 is more natural for me to shoot. Because it's, 
the ergonomics is designed for the the human body probably better than any gun in the world and you know it's amazing to me that today 2010 they can't come out with they never beat it they never beat the uh, the ergonomic genius of a 1911 the only thing they did was make guns lighter they're no more reliable they're just lighter you know what I mean a broken in 1911 is just as reliable as a Glock period I don't care what anybody says. So, yeah. Uh, the only thing they did was make guns lighter and hold more rounds. That's it. But they didn't make the gun better. Okay. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.